Hey Raiders, welcome back to the channel, it's Jared Gaming. Happy Friday, the weekend is nearly here. Uh, apologies, there have been no content the last uh, few days. My laptop gave up the ghost and I had to buy uh, some new parts, get all that sorted out and fixed and repaired. Um, but we're back, we are back just in time. New Fusion Champion. Uh, there's also Purple in the Summoning Portal. We love a bit of time to see on the Void. As you, a lot of you actually saw on my last video, I got very, very lucky with my shard pulls. Can we uh, can we also repeat that? I've got a few there. Yes, I did get a pack. Um, but uh, you know, I'm not hoping anyone in particular, there's no one I really need. Um, but who knows? I mean, hey, a third of Crisia. I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, also got some uh, soul stones to pull. And uh, yeah, I mean, let me know guys if you're gonna go for this uh, Oella. She looks okay. Um, I mean, I'd always encourage everybody, if you can, if you've got the resources, if you've got the time, go for these fusions, right? Because even though they may not fit into any of your teams today, who knows what new content they're gonna bring out down the line, what buffs or debuffs or changes they're gonna to make to the content. As we can see on the blessings, um, they're not always the right changes, so, you know, a champion that's going to sit in your vault today or, you know, or for the last, whatever, six months, like Errol, for example, if uh, you haven't had a nice hard hit in you know, Nuka, he may well have been pulled out your vault, buffed up, booked, um, put all your gear on. You know, he could be smashing your way through gold now. So, you know, for gold arena. So this is the thing, you know, if you've got the time, if you've got the resources, you know, don't, don't go mad, don't go oh, spending all your money and that sort of stuff. But if, if you know, if you've prepared for this sort of stuff, and we know we know in advance that these are coming, you know, all the content creators like to give heads up. We all kind of know they come out every sort of month or two. You know, it, it's a quite frequent, right? So if you're if you're kind of good with your resources and that sort of stuff, you should be pretty pretty doing doing all right. I mean, as you can see, I'm I'm not doing that great. I've got a few gems. Energy is a bit low, but that's fine. I can top that up. I've got a bit of silver there, but that's just going to get smashed on the uh, artifact enhancement and that sort of stuff. I've managed to get a couple of these guys, as you can see. Um, you know, I've not checked out Oella too much detail. I'm not going to go through her stats and, and bore you guys. I'm sure you've gone through it already. But she looks good. I mean, she looks very good. But really, for me, and I think a lot of, um, I'd say a lot of mid-game players. Um, this this um, this epic looks really good. I mean, to me, she just seems to be custom built for Sand Devil. I, I think it's a very good entry level, like a you know a stage seven, maybe mid range fourteen farmer. You know, she's got she's got the revive death. She's got the heal, so we can get on that mastery. Which um, sorry, mastery the blessing. I uh, forget what it's called. The one that fixes all of the, there we go, Miracle Heal. Is that the one? Yeah. You know, we get her leveled up. If you get her awakened, get Miracle Heal on her. She's gonna be fantastic, I think. Really, really good in um, Sand Devil. So I wanna get, I wanna hopefully pull her. I'm gonna pull some um, some uh, Ancient Shards as well because I do wanna try and get a copy of her before, um, well, before I have to put all four of them into the, the fusion, but um, no, I'm definitely uh, definitely interested in this Maruka champion. She looks very good. She's, I do have team set up already, but I'm definitely I'll play around with what I've got and see if I can come up with some other stuff. I'm also gonna plan, this video is just literally gonna be me roughly on for about 10 minutes, then uh, I'll be pulling shards. But I will be um, making a series of Doomtower Hard Secret Rooms. Now, Arguably, arguably, mm -mm, put my teeth back in. Arguably, this rotation has the hardest secret rooms um, out of the, any rotation. Uh, I mean, these, especially these ones, these rare magic, and I believe it's rare attack. As you can see, I still haven't even done it myself. Um, and there's a few others that I think is it the is a HP one somewhere. Maybe that's uneasy. But there's a few there that I know can cause trouble, some problems for people. So I'm literally going to be uh, creating a series on secret rooms, probably one and two. I might even include the boss fights, attacks on the end, again with the champs that I've got, the ones that I just sort of smashed through an auto, 
and maybe some other uh, assortments of champions that I've got or access to, maybe some sort of mid-tier champs that hopefully we can get through it as well. So that's my next project. So I'm gonna crack on with that as I'm just working well. As you see, I've finished Doomtower hard now. Two of those rooms to do, because again, you don't wanna miss out on fragments. You know, you don't wanna have miss out on three to six fragments, maybe more, and then next rotation, you come up short when you're just not gonna, you know, you're falling that again, that amount short of pulling that champion that you actually want. Obviously, we all know that Doomtower champs aren't exactly uh, out of this world, but um, some certainly have some use. Okay, right. So, without further ado, I'm going to pop some of these Mortal Soul Stones, then uh, the Mortal Soul Stones, then we're going to go over to the summoning portal, crack some of these off, and uh, see where we end up with this uh, champion chase. Now, I am not, I'm not worried too much about winning it, to be honest. Excuse me, I really just want to kind of get to the books and this guy. Um, yeah, even with the champion training, I'd, I, you know, I'd, I'd great if I can get some epics just to get some more some sort of chickens and stuff to make up. But uh, there's no way I'm I'm going to be anywhere near this kind of level. This is just crazy, especially after there's been two champion uh, training sort of events going on, which I, to be honest, have hit quite hard. So I'm all out. I'm all out of resources really for that. So I'm not going to bother that. I'm literally just going to get up to probably. I'll push for ten. I don't know if I'll hit 10. I've still got three days, four days, and hopefully I'll have a ton of epics out of these uh, Void Shards, so we shall see. So, right guys, uh, let's get to it. We're gonna morph over now to the Summoning Portal. Okay, sorry, Ultra Souls, not Summoning Portal. Ultra Souls first, let's get this done. Let's get some Soul Stones. I do love a Soul Stone. I never get any good luck. As anyone that's been watching my videos, I'm 8 for 8 on 5 star epics on Eternal Soul Stones, but I'm miles away from getting one of those, so I'm not even going to think about that. Pot 10, here we go, let's see what we can get, can we get some gold? 4 star Ordinator, that's an uh, Ordinatory pool, maybe not. Okay, uh, that was terrible, another Jingle Hunter, no thank you, okay next 10. Master Butcher. Come on. Let's see. These Mortal Soul Stones hate me so much. That was absolutely dire. Dire. Right. Um, I am not going to open those. I'm going to put all those into Essence because I'm trying to get to 300. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Right. Three more. Forget for that. Cool. 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 Here we go. Here we go. What can we get? What can we get? Epic. Shatterbones. Very good champion, actually. I'll be using it on him. It's his twin brother, which uh, Grimskin, which is the trash one. Bogwalker. I'm not worried about him. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a six star. Not a five star, the Mystic Hand, the one that you see in all the adverts. Don't know what it does, don't care. I'm not gonna use it, that's gonna be traded in. Four star, three star, Archmage Helmet. Excellent champion, I think I've already got him ascended. So that's just gonna be fed. And it's another rare. And it's Mabranche. Hmm, great, okay. Absolute garbage. Don't need any of those. That's trash, 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 trash. Uh, right, I'll fill with those later. I'm not gonna bore you watching me just clear my stuff out. Right, okay. Now the important stuff. Here we go. Uh, actually, before I do that, I pull some ancients first. Let me just double check. So it was, okay, they are. Okay, the magic affinity, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I'm gonna get one pack of Gems, the big shard pack, one of those. And then that's it. I'm pretty near, I think I'm pretty near Mercy actually. Again, what's my RSL tell me? Give me a second. Or oh, maybe not. 
Well, this is one, two, three, but I'm pretty sure I opened about another 40 on top of that, so I don't know. Maybe. Could be near mercy, actually, but uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We don't care. Any gold's fine because it's uh, it counts towards. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, Lady Kimmy, thank you very much. That is a dupe, but uh, I'll take it. That's all points towards the champ chase. I don't know if you guys have her. She's excellent in arena. She's super duper quick. She gives great debuffer, slows them down, speeds you up, blocks some buffs. She's really annoying, actually. Really annoying. Um, especially when she's in the speed teams with Arbiter, that sort of thing. Because um, my, my main speed team is um, a Hedgy that hits the Arbiter, slows them down. My Arbiter then goes, and then my Warlord, you know takes all the turns away that sort of stuff and then Baron slaps Kimmy always seems to get ahead of everyone and then just decreases speed increases speed so ah very annoying champion but uh, cool again it's dupe don't need it but uh, we'll see what we can do with it later on let's uh, pull another another 10 there's still not that that epic that's what we want we want the epic Cornelia very good champion uh, one more temple I might have to clear a few uh, few champs out as well. Oh, Maruka, oh look, Maruka and... Oh! Guys, the luck, the luck on this account. The luck on this account. This is two videos now I'm gonna have to put My Luck is Disgusting. Mark is Disgusting, part two. Look at that, I've got, I've got Maruka, which is what we was going for. <laughs> oh, look at that, we've got Maruka. I can now test her out on Sound Devil, so I'll be doing that as well this weekend. Okay, Hefrak, amazing champion, such a fun, fun, fun arena champion to use. You can put him in a speed team, you can put him in a go second team, you can put him in a team where you have like a, a rank one, uh, you know, uncommon champion. They they get they get knocked out, and then he's passive, which is the Prince of Pride. Whenever an ally is killed, instantly activates Hefrak's Scorn skill. Will not put the skill on cooldown, which is this ridiculously hard-hitting AoE. If the first hit takes them down to less than 50% or 50% and less, they do it again. So it's basically like um, like Magma's sort of double hit, bang, bang. But it's just, again, it's, it's, it's ignoring their defense as well. So you've got like a mini... Um, a mini savage on there, you know, or you know, a, a big crawl, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's fantastic. I do have him. I've not used him for a while, just because of the meta in arena is a bolster, the stone skin, that sort of stuff. So it's a lot harder to use him. But if you've got him on a team with a buff stripper, uh, stripper, stripper like um, Venus or obviously Madame, and you get lucky and you do take him off, then uh, he's just great. He is fantastic. Uh, do you know what? I, I'm that's amazing. I've got Maruka. Sounds like Maruka the Veruka. I bet she was bullied in school. That's why she's got such a sour face. They called her Maruka the Veruka. Now she's got, and then obviously she's paid back and she's probably wearing the skull of the people that said that. Anyway, sorry, uh, I digress. She was fantastic. Again, I can't wait to use her actually. I'm very excited about that. Very, very, very excited. What is the uh, the passive? Each time this champion is hit, increases their defense by two and a half percent. Okay, resets each round. Stacks up to twenty percent. Okay, cool. I mean, that's that's not too bad. Again, that will survive. The thing is, with revive and death, do you want to? Oh, hang on. Replace the revive on two allies for two turns. But that's fine, actually. That's still fine. I mean, you can um, for stage seven, early game, we can definitely still get rid of the sand devil with uh, two allies. Okay. Hmm. Do you know what? Is me getting ahead of myself? I actually thought this is revive on death for the whole team. Okay, it's fine. I'm sure we can still work our way around that. We're going to do that this weekend. I'm going to work out what to do with Maruka the Veruka. And um, there we go. But that's still brilliant. That's still amazing. Two Legos in 30 Ancient Shards on a non times two. I mean, yeah, great. That's fantastic. Where are we with regards to the champ chase? Because, again, I don't want to be using all my resources just yet. Uh, brew, 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 brew. God, I'm only 25th, 23rd, 2,000 points, okay, 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 uh, let's do a cheeky quick temple then on the voids, 
fingers crossed for a few good epics, and then I clear some space. I mean, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to pull them, but um, we we'll, we'll do a few. We we'll do a few. Or as I say, we're coming straight out of mercy as well, so this could be a very slow summon. I'm probably going to pull about 40, um, but I'm hoping. I mean, like, oh, I'm not even an epic. That was terrible. All right, he makes the room, guys. I'll be straight back. Cool. Okay, guys, we've got 30 spaces, and I think that's probably going to be enough for me, actually. 40 voids. So we will crack on. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hide my RSL in there because that's telling me it's giving me little previews. Oh, quick click. Uh, okay, Skimfoss, Coldheart, Brilliant, Prondar. Like nothing to write home about. Nothing worried about. We don't want it. We don't care. It's not gold. Let's go. Okay. Why don't they go such slow speed? Another cold heart. Because that's very good. Because that's very good for those uh, rare champ rooms. He hits hard. Oh, look at that. Three cold hearts. There we go. Three cold hearts. It's ridiculous. Right. Last ten. Can I just get some epics? Come on. Just give me some points. There's one. Godzuka Neri. The one that always slips my mind. Then number two. Another Prondar. Number three, Rowan. Okay, there we go, guys. Um, right, okay, nothing that exciting on the voids. Uh, where, where are we doing? How are we doing? I've got all my books. 55, over by 47, that's that's reasonable. Um, bum, 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 bum. Now, if I did get a legendary that gets me 650, I only get one. And how much is the uh, 250 for every? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I could go top. I mean, oh, okay. Give me a sec. Let me. Uh, okay, I know what you're all saying. Just do one more temple, Sam. All right, look at those. Does that make you feel sick? Sorry, Cold Hearts. One, two, three. Four. Done. Errol's nearly there. We get Errol up to the top as well. We test Errol out. Mr. Uh, I like Errol. He's um, someone in the castle. The cleaners have been like, where's all my uh, dustpan brushes gone? Errol's like, no idea. No idea. Naughty. Right. Okay. Last ten, guys. Last ten. I'm going to do a close the eye. Close eye shot. Here we go. Not looking. Not looking. Not looking. Are we going to get some gold? Du, 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 du. I think this takes ages. I shouldn't have done this because it takes so long. I'm not even going to know. Three. I'm going to open my eyes. Three, two, and one. Chigor! Oh, we get some gold. And it's the guy that I didn't go for. I was going to go for, as you saw in the last video. I was going to go for him. I didn't bother because I got a Crizia and I got a Serga. And now Jagor, he actually really wanted to come and join the clan. So here he is. Excellent. Okay, fine. I'm happy with that. New champion. Um, excellent. And to be fair, I've probably used the amount of voids that I would have spent to get him. So, okay, there we go. It's win win. Win win. Attack one champ. 50% chance of placing sleep on for one turn. Okay, but it's actually. Uh, the passive, but we'll come to that. Attacks all enemies two times. First hit, certain my chance of placing the poison. Second hit, certain my chance of placing decreased defense for three turns. Excellent. Can't go wrong with that. Attacks one enemy one time at random. The target is under poison. We we'll ignore shield block damage. Unkillable. Grants extra turn if this kills the enemy. Also resets the cooldown of Venom Storm if this kills two enemies. Okay, it's quite interesting. It's quite an interesting little mechanic. If you can get him up for deal damage, I don't know what his attack stats are like. We'll have to check them out. Uh, but this is what it's all about, really. Instantly attacks enemies with a default skill when they receive damage from poison from this champion. When hitting enemies under poison, heals this champ by 10%. So, you know, you get the poisons out. So if you've got someone like, if he's on like a Calvalax team who puts poisons out straight away, they're immediately under the poison. As we know, poisons, turn starts, you take the damage. So before they even get a chance to go, this guy, boom, 
he's slapping them with this. And um, I'm assuming, so it's placing, but I think you still need accuracy, I assume. But yeah, then you put them to sleep. So they're not even getting to get a turn. Fantastic, I like it. Okay, good. Wow, there we go. There we go, guys. The extra 10 was well worth it. And also got a couple of, uh, a couple of fantastic um, epic champs there. Oh, Demifa, Harkon, Light Swan. There you go, look, that's... Uh, as part of another um, uh, Sand Devil team there as well. Inquisitor for the old uh, Hydra. Renegade is your budget uh, Kaimar. So, uh, do you know what? That's actually pretty good. Pretty good uh, haul. And how are we doing now? So, Champ Chase, I've got to be top now, surely. There we go. Right, let's collect all this lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, Bosch. I'm, not even, I'm going to save my um, sacreds. Let's do one mortal soul stone. Can it be gold? Come on. Can it be gold? Oh, it is gold. Who's this fella? Oh, it's Vlad. Oh, have I actually done oh, Vlad? I have not. I have one star. There we go. Oh, look at that, guys. I'm doing a lottery tonight because uh, my luck's been pretty filthy. Filthy. Excellent, 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 excellent. And what we've got here, okay, cool. Got myself a five star chicken. On to milestone four. Guys, have you actually got anything out of the gold chest that's worth writing home about? I think so far I've been getting sort of gems and stuff. I think I've got like 60 gems on the gold chest. I mean, they're, they're trash really. You should really have, uh, you know, maybe get like a few of these. Well, they should have just put, you get all of these and just put like five things in there. The amount of effort you're actually putting into this stuff. It's crazy. Still, we are... How long have we got left, actually, for this? Eight weeks. Eight weeks in, and we're past halfway. So we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Wow. Brilliant. Okay. I have nothing else to say in this regard. Oh, he's sitting up there. Okay, of course he is. I'll get all them worked out. So, okay. Let's see if we can get this Maruka working in Sand Devil. I'm going to focus on my secret room hard Doom Tower rotations over the weekend. Hopefully some bids coming out um, in the week. Maybe even Sunday if I get a chance. Uh, apart from that, guys, please let me know in the comments how you get on. If you're pulling for shards, if you're going for the champ training, uh, any ideas for the videos, any content you want to see, any champs that you have that you're like, what can I do with this guy? I've no idea. He's just, you know, he's sitting in the vault, not doing anything. Put him in, put him in the comments. Let me know. If there's anything you need built, if there's something you're struggling with, and I will do my best to make some content or to help you out. Apart from that, also I saw my last video with the Shah Pauls. I've got quite a lot of views. I think I'm up to sort of six, seven hundred at the minute, which is amazing. Thank you very much. But please, even if half of you guys sub to this channel, it would help me out a huge, huge amount. Um, yeah, not only with sort of monetary stuff, which is, I guess, the reason why a lot of people do this sort of thing. But also it allows me to get into content creator groups such as for Polarium, for YouTube, gives me access to other stuff. It basically opens doors. Um, so please, uh, like, subscribe to the videos. It helps me out. It will help me on the road to becoming a content creator. And then this basically means that I can give more out to you guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've had some great pause. Again, three legendary champs, two of them, in ancient shards when it's not even the times too. So, you know, thanks again, Aaron Jesus. He, he's, he's definitely <laughs> he's with me today. Uh, guys, have a great weekend. Have a great rest of your day today. Friday, obviously you can get a bit ahead of yourself. Have a great Friday, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.